Daisy has evolved as a survival game over the years, and with it, us survivors have had to adapt to every change they've thrown our way. Most recently, we've had to embrace the new zombie tier system, and the increasing hardship that comes with looting a common town during the apocalypse. Make too much noise, and you've got a horde of zombies on you within minutes. So, today, I'm here to show you how to transform yourself from a buckwild sprinting bambi into a professional stealthy assassin to efficiently maneuver through large towns in DayZ. In DayZ, all you really need to be quiet and efficient when looting towns is a bladed melee weapon. So once you find one or make one for yourself, then you're ready to head into a town and find some better gear. Before diving right into a town, military base, or any zombie infested area, the best thing you can do is scout things out to the best of your ability. Find yourself a bush up on top of a hill, or an elevated deer stand. From there you can scope down into the town and see if any players have been around and to see where the zombies are most concentrated. Once you have a general idea of how you want to navigate the area, head down and start looting. Now that you're committed and in a town looting, you need to know how to remain as silent as possible. The first step to do this is to avoid jogging or sprinting around. Although it may be faster, running makes a ton of noise and can alert a lot of zombies relatively fast. Instead, crouch walking is the most efficient and quiet way to move from building to building. Removing your shoes can also make your footsteps much quieter, but you do get bleeds from walking around barefoot for too long. So only use this tactic in a very drastic situation, like in PvP. It's also important to note that the more gear you carry, like backpacks or guns, they can make more noise as you move around, making it easier for zombies and other players to hear you. My advice is to pack light. Most of the time I either play with no backpack or a small improvised backpack in order to stay sneaky. Even though you scouted out and planned the best zombie free path to loot of all time, zombies will still get in the way. Their pathing is a bit random and unpredictable, so you need to be ready to take one when the time comes. But how can you do so without making a ton of noise? Stealth kills. In order to perform this animation, you need to have a single-handed bladed melee item in hand, sneak up to an unaggroed zombie, and perform a single hit. And rather than swinging your blade, your player will instead stab the zombie in the torso and kill it quietly. Yes, the stab makes a bit of a squirty kind of noise, and the zombie sort of groans. But as far as I'm aware, zombies that are 10 meters or so away won't be alerted. In the 1.14 experimental version, it also seemed as though you could only perform this animation when directly behind a zombie. However, I discovered, well personally anyway, that this stealth kill can be performed regardless of the angle. As long as you stab the zeb without it being alarmed, you should get the stealth kill. This is extremely useful when zombies wander outside a door you want to open, or you cross paths with a nearby zombie while you're sat in a bush trying to scout things out. No matter the situation, the versatility of this technique is extremely handy in close quarters combat with zombies. A much less silent option is to use silenced pistols. At the moment it seems that the more lethal pistols like the IJ or the M-Lock can attract zombies quite easily, even with a silencer. So if you want to use a ranged weapon, I highly recommend using the MK2 pistol. This weapon shoots silently without any attachment and takes 22 LR rounds, which are pretty commonplace in the spawn areas, making the silenced pistol a very handy zombie killing tool. Sometimes things don't always go as planned, and sometimes you're going to get swarmed by Zeds. In that case, there are a few things you can do to survive without getting knocked out or cut up. My go-to option is to find a large, spacious building that I can easily trap zombies inside. Make sure to understand the size of the doorway you have and the number of zombies you have to trap. In order to pull this off, you have to do a lot of dodging and juking around until they make their way inside the intended trap building. If done improperly, you can get yourself stuck and in a very, very bad situation. On the other hand, a much more safer but more time consuming option is to find a building and lock yourself inside. If you can find a cozy little corner to lay still in, the zombies will eventually unaggro and wander off. But 
Make sure to pick a spot that you can hold easily, and that you can't get sniped in. Believe it or not, a large group of zombies huddled outside a building is a huge tell for other players to figure out where you are. Stealth and silent looting is the new meta. If you want to be smart, survive, and have an advantage against those who still don't utilize the ninja approach to looting towns, this is the new way to play and survive DayZ. I hope you guys enjoyed and found the video to be useful. If so, make sure to subscribe and drop a like. Also, feel free to comment any of your stealth tips or guide the news you'd like me to make. See you in the next one!